In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving functions with the Casio FS901 ES calculator or the Casio FS517 ES calculator, the black one, and not the white one. Now that we are going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving function with the Casio calculator. You will learn the hack or the trick I use with the calculator to do it. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. Okay guys, so let's get a Casio calculator and move straight to this video. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to clear. The essence of clearing is to put a calculator in default mode guys, so that you, you will be at the safe side. To so clear, for those of you that don't know how to do it, you simply press shift, then follow the button 9, and then follow the instruction. Once you clear all, you press 3 initialize all, then through instruction equal to means yes then first equal to again now right now we have cleared so let's put our calculator in a mode that will help us solve this problem now i'll show you two ways you can do it i'll show you the first one that involves putting your calculator in a particular mode to do it and the other one you don't have to put your calculator in a mode you just have to store a number and solve it straight so after showing you the two ways can do it anyone you feel to understand better you can be making use of any of them but if you happen to understand the two ways better so anyone that is coming here for you, you can just use it but me i prefer this particular one i want to show you first so you go to menu to put a calculator in that mode so these are various modes of the calculation so you go to option nine that's table we work with table to do it so you press 9 so if you press 9 you two, you will see f of f equals what so let's put what we have f of f is 9 in, in calculus another time for f of f is y so you see that i use y word f of x so don't be confused you see f of x f of x is the same thing as y so f of x here that's y equals 2 x alpha x right square minus 4 x alpha x plus 5 okay so guys now that we have imputes these values the next thing we have to do now is is to press equal to very, very simple guys press equal to now when you press equal to the calculator automatically we prompt you to impute a value for g of x now when you get this stage just put the value of g of x to be zero since we don't have g of x here we only we, are, we want to work with only f of x so put the value of g of x to be zero and you will get the correct answer but then you are done setting up the values so press the quotes now now once you have done it it will bring you to this place now it says table range starts from now in this form the question says evaluate the function when is minus two and when is what three so that means we want to evaluate the function when the value is minus two and when is what three so let's start it from minus two guys so that's what, what, what this thing means starts from minus two then once you do it you press equal to and it will get to end and we want it to end at three so you press three it's as simple as that guys so and even the function what we have here is is to say one you will say starts from one and what and even what we have here is six and end you know at six in that order but since we having minus two and three so that means the, the table range has to start from minus two and end at what three so once you have done it you press equal to then step one press equal to and um, okay step one you can say okay that's correct just press equal to this is step one so guys you can see when x is minus two that's 
when fs is minus 2 here, the function at f of s will be what? 21. So when s is when s is minus 2, we have our f of x to be what? 21. That's simple as that, guys. So you just scroll down and check for when x is 3. When x is 3, guys. So when x is 3, this is 3, our f of x is what? 11. So our answer is all option B. Let me go back again to show you when this is the we 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 say the calculator to start from minus two, right? So when x is minus two, our f of x is what twenty one. So when let's go back to x, when x is three, our f of x is what eleven. So our answer is what option B. Very very simple, guys. So this is the first method you can use straightforward. So let's wipe out clear this very very simple guys now before i show you the second method if you are new to our channel this is the ghost class and you are not yet subscribed you should subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button more of our videos so like share this video give this video a thumbs up now to help the algorithm of this video guys now what we do basically here in the ghost class that we have young scholars like you with tips and other necessary information that will help to simplify your academic problem now if such tips and uh, necessary information interest you you want to be getting them directly from us, you sure you hit the subscribe button now. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Very, very important, guys. So, now, the second method of output you can use, you can just store x as minus 2. Press to store, press this store button, s to and alphabet. One store it as x. So, indicate here that it will be stored as x minus 2. So, let's, when x, when x is stored as minus 2, let's simplify the function. So, we're going to have 2x alpha x square minus 4 x alpha x plus 5 first equal to 21 is 21 now that's when x is minus 2 but what when x is 3 what is amount to this to we clear it again and store s as now 3 that's ship this store and this so let's input the function again we have it to be two x alpha x square minus four x that's alpha x plus five okay eleven so you still get the same thing guys so these are the two ways you can use to solve question revolving function in these formats like this is it I use the table method or use this storing of value method anyone that is convenient for you just apply it and you will get the same result so guys with this we have come to the end of this class once more if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos so like and share and comment on this video guys to tell me how you feel now what you have just learned from this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response now once you're done, don't forget to click the calculator. Just press shift, press shift button nine from the instruction. And the calculator is now clear, it's now in default mode. And with this, you are good to go guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.